What am I supposed to do with you? Oh, hi, beastie. Da -da -da -da. Um, Sammy, why are you talking like that? Uh, I just watched Maleficent again. Oh, and that made you call this little doll beastie? I was referring to you, actually. <laughs> what? Huh. <gasps> Oh no, don't get mad, Susie. You remember that it was what she called Aurora, right? And she did it because she loved her, by the way. And, uh, I kind of love you, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love you, too, Sammy. And since we're talking about Maleficent here, I think I know what we should do with this doll. Hello, beasties. Oops, <laughs> Sammy confused me a bit. I meant hi, guys. Today we'll turn an old Bratz doll into a little copy of the beautiful yet powerful fairy Maleficent. Oh, I love this movie and this character! Can't wait to see what we'll get at the end of our craft! What about you guys? Do you like Maleficent? Then give a thumbs up to this video! Oh, look, her hair is a mess! Hmm, what should we do about this? Any ideas, Sammy? Well, in my expert opinion, we should cover everything with a nice hat. Follow my lead, Sue. Uh-uh. You don't have clotted hair. I think the only option here is scissors. Guys, be careful when working with sharp objects. We'll quicken the process a bit. Voila! Bibbity bobbity subscribity! <laughs> Sammy, what a wonderful wizard's assistant you are! Or rather, an assistant to our doll fairy to be. Now we're gonna need some plastic wrap. It will help us make a wig with horns for our doll. We will press the wrap really tight to the doll's head. This way, the wig will be the right size and fit perfectly. Then goes the second layer. We'll use wet wipes for this. Either take a big one or just take two of them like I did. We'll also press it tight to the doll's head like this. And secure everything with a thread. We need to make sure it doesn't move or fall off. It should cover the whole head. We'll shape it later. And now we'll need some white glue. We'll pour it like this. Be careful here, guys. Try not to glue yourselves. Oh, it's okay even if you touch the glue a little bit. Hot water and soap are the perfect solution for this. So we're carefully spreading the glue with a brush all over the surface like this. Now we'll leave it for a bit, and when the glue sets, the wipes will keep the doll's head shaped, and we'll continue. Hey, Susie, don't you think that right now the doll looks more like a mummy than a fairy? <laughs> You're right, Sammy, but don't worry. I'm about to fix this. The first thing is we'll draw the outline of the future wig. Do you remember it, guys? It was a bit of a pointy bit here at the forehead. Oh, I love these bold lines, too. Thanks. And here on the back of the head, we'll draw a line like that, not too close to the neck. Let's see what we have here. Look, guys. The glue is already hard enough and keeps the shape of the doll's head. Now we can easily cut out the base for our wig. Oh, by the way, Sammy, do you know where our polymer clay is? The one left from our recent craft? We're gonna need some now. Got it! I'm already on my way! Great. While I'll be finishing here. Be very careful with sharp tool, guys. Remember, it's better to ask an adult to help. Mm. Look what a nice cap we have here! It fits perfectly! Uh, I hope this will be enough! Thanks, Sammy. Give a thumbs up to my wonderful assistant. As you can guess, guys, we'll need polymer clay to make the horns for our Maleficent. We'll take two pieces equal in size approximately like this. I mean, the horns should be equal, right? Or, I'd better say, symmetrical. We'll take one piece first and roll it to the desired size. And then we'll make a delicate curl, like that. And then we'll take the second piece of clay and do the same. Here we go. Pretty symmetrical to the first one, huh? And after this, we'll simply attach the two horns to the cap. Ugh, it's better to press them a bit to secure them. <clears throat> oh, horns! Hold well! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sammy! We'll secure them with clay, not magic. Just apply the clay all over the surface of the wig. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's use a bit of magic here. 
Huh? Looks cool, right? Just a bit left. We'll paint it black. And the beautiful headdress is ready! Make sure to cover the doll just like I did. And wear rubber gloves, guys. Be careful with spray paint. It's coming out awesome! Hey, look, guys! Our little beauty already looks like Maleficent in this wig! We need a bit more to make the picture complete. The correct makeup. Oh yeah, her eyes should be frighteningly beautiful. Or beautifully frightening. Ooh, good question, Sam. We'll know when we're done. First, we need to make her face a bit paler. By the way, Sammy, I have a really important assignment for you. You can't scare me with important, Susie! <laughs> Our fairy needs her wings, which have feathers and… No more words! I'm on my way! Oh, <laughs> what a responsible slime! I wish everybody had such a helper. In the meantime, I'll get back to the makeup. The eyes of our doll are already green, just like Maleficent's. We'll make them a bit brighter using green eyeshadows. A bit of white color here… And blend it a little. This will totally look like the makeup of a real fairy! Let's quickly do the same with the second eye. Oh, it looks magical! But I think we'd better make the eyeliner brighter, too. Here we go… Nice! Oh, this really reminds me of Maleficent's powerful look! Guys, what do you say? And we should probably make the eyebrows brighter and more expressive. The final touch, false lashes. And then… The makeup is done! And our little doll can be rightfully called a fairy Maleficent. Wonderful! I think you can fly on these eyelashes if you blink your eyes really fast. <laughs> Speaking of flying, where is Sammy with those feathers for the wings? We're about to start crafting them! I'm here! As well as the feathers! Oh, wow, let me help you! Stand still, Sammy! Well, you did that makeup really fast, too, but I'd make these lips red, you know. Of course you would. Oh, the great Maleficent expert. bit of white here to make them look more realistic. Perfect! All that's left are Maleficent's famous cheekbones. We'll draw them with pastel crayons. Make the powder like this. Please, be extra careful and don't cut your fingers. Mm. Now we'll take a thin brush and apply the powder on her cheekbones. Here you go, pretty. It's time to get dressed. Check out these paper patterns I made in advance for the dress of our little Maleficent. We'll place them all on fabric so that we don't get confused when cutting them out. Magic will help us save some time. Hop! The next step is sewing everything. Hey, Susie, you know what? We can make Aurora afterwards and all the other characters, and we'll have the whole magic world of Maleficent! Oh! <laughs> Hold your horses, Sammy. Let's finish this first. Please, Susie, let me help you. I'm the best sewer after all. Okay, Master Sam. Your help will be quite handy here. And in the meantime, I'll make the wings. Check out this wing base I made from thin cardboard. Now we'll take glue and feathers. I wonder where Sammy found these. Don't worry, Susie, no birds were harmed. Oh, <laughs> that's great news. Okay, so we'll take one feather and carefully glue it to the cardboard base. Then we'll take another one, and another, and so on. Big feathers go first, followed by the smaller ones. Oh, guys, they're so cute and stylish! And here is her outfit. Whoa, Sammy, this dress is gorgeous! <gasps> no way! You even sewed a zipper? 
Now it'll be really easy to put this dress on our doll. Oh, and this cape is just awesome, Sammy! You're the best fashion designer ever! Yeah, what would you do without me? Come on, let's try it on our little Maleficent. Oh, it fits! This is so great! I bet she's delighted. So we should give her wings immediately so that she won't get mad at us. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I'm sure she knows that we're her friends. Hop, done. Hmm. Something's still missing here. <gasps> A magic, magic stab! stab! We'll do it in a few moments. One, two, three, four. Voila. We'll take a bamboo stick and apply some hot glue all around it. You need to do it really slow so that the glue is distributed unevenly. See? It's as if the staff is made out of tree branches. Just be careful with the hot glue, guys. And a small emerald on top. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's just a rhinestone. Now it's time to paint it. Whoa, this really looks like tree branches joined together to give Maleficent her magic power and strength. And to make it look even more magical, a touch of gold paint. All done. Aha! Beware the enemies of Maleficent! She has feathers and a magical staff! Guys, check her out! She looks almost like Maleficent's twin sister. Oh, these wonderful fluffy wings! And her magic staff that looks like the real thing. Yeah, Susie, I guess we just turned a beastie into a beauty, huh? Try to create your favorite characters from different fairy tales, guys. And you'll know that they can magically come out of long-forgotten stuff. Bye, all And don't forget to get creative! Bye-bye! Oh, this cold is getting worse. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the Jedi Order was very worried about the cold of the cheap master of crap. Sammy, all you do is make fun of me. You better make me some hot tea. Sorry, Sue, but I just finished rewatching Star Wars, and you know what? I got curious about one thing. Mm, which one? I know everything about Star Wars. Master Yoda is an old white-haired wise man. Was he born like that? Oh, of course not. Once he was small and a sweet child like everyone else. Uh-huh. And played with dolls. Luke, I am your father. Oh, don't put the doll away. Very soon, you'll find out what Baby Yoda looks like. Full of crafts is your way. Hi, guys. Today, we'll bring joy to everyone who loves intergalactic space and make Baby Yoda from an old Bratz doll. Huh. Sue, stop. Are you going to transform this old Bratz doll into the great Master Yoda? Yes, Sammy. Very soon, you'll see how Yoda looked in his childhood. First, we need to remove the hair from the doll. Yep, I guess Yoda didn't have long hair even when he was young. Very soon, there won't be any hair. Don't worry. But you know, I imagine Yoda with slick hair like Elvis Presley. So the hair is gone, and now we'll need this sandpaper. We start rubbing the face of our doll. 
you, are you sure you don't have a fever? Sammy, I know what I'm doing. The preparation stage is very important. <clears throat> now I imagine how Yoda polished his head with sandpaper after he encountered Skywalker. <laughs> it was a one-time event. And now it's time to make those recognizable ears of Master Yoda. We will need soft polymer clay, which we'll use to create the look of our Yoda. Huh. And why can't we use Play-Doh? Because clay won't change its shape after it sets. This is exactly what we need. Plus, we can paint it as well. Now we'll give it the right shape. Ears are Yoda's most recognizable feature. Like this. One ear is ready and we'll speed up with the second one. Here we go! So, I know how to do sculpture magic too! Whoops. Oh, thanks, Sammy! The ears have set. Now we can attach them to the head of our baby. Oh, if someone only dared to call him baby in the movies, they would be in real trouble! <laughs> when we're finished, you won't be able to call him any other way. He'll be super cute. So, here comes the second ear! So far, this reminds me more of an angel whose wings relocated from her back onto her head. Sammy, all you've been doing is criticizing. You'd better prepare the paint. We'll need it soon. It's just my wild imagination. I don't see anything wrong here. The ears are ready, but we still need to attach several more clay parts. This will create the shape of these typical arches over Yoda's eyes. It's also important to fix everything with the tool and smooth it out. And while Sam isn't watching, we'll use a bit more magic. Huh? <laughs> exactly what we need. While Sam is preparing the paint, I will start shaping Yoda's head. Here, you just need to be careful. Nothing special. And don't forget to always give Clay some time to set. Dun dun da 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 da. Why did you take the airbrush? I need it! We can already paint our doll! Look! Ew, you threw me off the galactic artist mood! <laughs> galactic artist? Hmm, you know I like it! If you like it, then paint it yourself! Let it be so. Thanks, Sammy. I'm ready for the galactic painting, but first we need to protect the table from paint. Here we go! Oh, this is so cool! I've never painted with an airbrush before. So it's like a space blaster which shoots paint and brings beauty! Well, beauty is still far away. This is just the base color. As you understand, we'll need other colors as well. No problem, I will prepare everything now. We'll need acrylic paint for the details, Sammy. We'll paint the eyes and the mouth. Stand up! So now it's time to paint the body. <gasps> By the way, do you want to try it? I'll be happy to. Come to me, future Yoda! And I'll check which color Sam prepared. Brown and black will work for Yoda's eyes. And this green can highlight some features of our Yoda. Painted and also set a bit already. Great. Time to paint the eyes. Do it carefully not to stain the body. First, we make the brown contour. Everything according to the canning. Here, it doesn't have to be thicker on the edges. And now we paint the rest of the eye black. Sue, I'm sorry, but these eyes look wishy-washy and lifelike. <laughs> to animate them, Sammy, we'll add an important detail now. Much better, right? 
didn't think that white strokes could add soul to someone. And now we need a brighter shade of green to draw Yoda's wrinkles. I prepared a perfect color. Yes, that's awesome. Yoda without small wrinkles on his face is not Yoda. Yes, he's a born wise man. We even have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> like what? The special understanding of life. Natural wisdom is a great gift and a burden, you know. Oh, then tell me why, Sammy. What is happiness? It's loyal subscribers who will always support you with a thumbs up. Oh, then we're lucky. So the final strokes in our painting process. Sue, so, did you think that if we're painting Yoda, then we should paint nails too? <laughs> no. This is exactly the very final touch that we need. We'll apply nail polish to the eyes to add a bit of shine. Yoda's eyes made from nail polish? Who could ever imagine this? Done! I guess our Yoda's a little cold already. Yes, it's high time to dress up our Yoda. I made the templates for clothing. <laughs> Let's place them on the fabric to create Yoda's famous robe. And now, Sammy, it's time to show a little bit of real Jedi magic. Whoosh. We couldn't do without magic while creating Yoda. Let's start sewing our robe. First goes the base. I wonder how they made Darth Vader's outfit. A needle clearly wasn't enough. Right you are, but luckily with Yoda, it is much easier. If it's easy, then let me sew this real quick. And meanwhile, guys, I will show you this pendant for Yoda. We can't leave such a character without a special piece of jewelry. This pendant will give him even more Jedi power. Yep, the pendant looks great. It wasn't bought on sale for sure. Oh, Sammy, that was fast. That's how real Jedi power works. Whoa! <gasps> you even added push buttons? Very cool. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let's try it on right away. I'm sure it fits perfectly. It was made by a master. <laughs> Sammy, you're so modest. What's wrong? It's true. <laughs> Guys, if you agree that Sam is a real master of everything, then give a thumbs up. And I just need to put this amazing pendant on our Yoda. And done! Sam, I see you want to make a comment. Go ahead. Actually, I brought you some hot, refreshing tea, Susie. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Sammy. When the rebels tried to crush the Master of Crabs, only one Jedi came to the rescue. <sighs> you couldn't resist it, right? Sorry, Sue. I just can't wait to see baby Yoda. Let's go. I placed him near the other babies. Feel any better, Sue? Oh, yes, much better, Sammy. When you do the things you love, it helps. Then this craft is also a healing one. So you won't be calling me Darth Vader again? Guys, don't throw away old dolls. Try making a cute baby Yoda from them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. All Jedi have already subscribed. Now it's your turn. Bye bye. Hey, hey, my name is Jade, and now I'll be the star of this channel. Hey, what's all that about? Some dolls hosting Slime Sam's channel? Oh, relax, Pipsqueak. It was a joke. Oops. A joke? Sue so would never joke about such things. And 
she's careful. Well, yes, even though Sue and I are sisters, we're completely different. She likes reading, and I love video games. Mm. She loves drawings, and I prefer her doing sports. <laughs> she loves LOL dolls, but I prefer Bratz dolls. Jade is my favorite one. I was so happy to get her. You still rarely part with her. Sue must be jealous. No, she isn't. She's actually sad. Sad? Our Sue? Well, yes. They don't make LOL dolls for this size. Yeah, if her favorite unicorn girl was big, it would cheer her up. Hmm, well, sad Sue sounds wrong. We really need to cheer her up. Right, Pipsqueak, you're coming with me to help. Will you make me work like crazy again? Oh, you drama llama exaggerating again. Come. Hey, everyone. Today, we're going to do some transformations. Yes, they don't make LOL doll so big, but you can turn a Bratz doll into an LOL doll. I don't mind parting my favorite doll for my sister. I don't like when Sue is hot. Guys, what are you ready to do for your brothers and sisters? Write in the comments. So I'm waiting for Mr. Slime to bring the materials and then I can start. <laughs> hmm, where is he? Ah, uh, Sam! What? Did I bring something wrong? How should I know if you just dumped it? Some helper. Fine, I'll figure it out. The main material will be glitter craft foam. Will you need all these colors? As if you haven't seen Unicorn Girl. Look how colorful she is. Ah. Right. First, we need to remake the eyes. I'll make the eyes out of the white craft foam. It's self-adhesive, so it'll be easy to attach it to the doll afterwards. Don't forget that the eyes aren't white. Oh, would you look at the genius line? Listen here. Take these and go. Where? To paint the eyes. Oh, I love painting. Go on, painter's line, and I'll start on making clothes. Oh, no, I'm not going to saw. Especially since I can work with craft foam without it. I'll trace the pattern of the panties over the craft foam and cut it out. Sam will do his best. I have no idea when I'll get another chance to show my painting talent. Uh, all this color is perfect, just like the unicorn girl's eyes. And go! Right, I'll decorate the panties with a lace ribbon. I love ribbons. They can transform any item. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Now I only need to glue the fastening on. Something's missing. Oh! Glitter! The panties are done! Oh, did you decide to become a doll yourself? A dramatic entrance. Never heard anyone. Uh, where is she? Samantha, what are you doing here? Why aren't you making the doll? I started gluing the hair on and remembered that I didn't brush my hair. Fine, back to work. My sister Sue is waiting for her surprise, even though she doesn't know about it yet. I'm making the hair out of the craft foam strips. Unicorn Girl has wonderful color hair. I want such hair too. Have you ever dyed your hair into unusual colors? Write in the comments. Mm hmm, let's put this here. I think it came out cool. Yeah! Sam, are you a hairdresser now? Well, I'm an expert on wigs, didn't you know? I didn't. You make every day as a surprise. make it boring. You'd better run before I glue these ponytails to you. Like this. <laughs> but they suit Jade so well, I have no regrets that I've started remaking her. Let's attach the ribbons. These ribbons are so pretty. Really, I'm starting to wish I was making this outfit for myself. And the hair is done. Beautiful. Let's add the eyes as well. One. And two. And let's make her lips pretty as well. I'll apply some glue to the lips. Cover them with purple glitter and shake off the excess. It looks almost like the real thing. Samantha is a pretty ballerina, but the doll will need a smaller skirt. Hop! Hop! 
The skirt is made of several layers of tulle attached to a rubber band. Very simple. Let's see. There. Won't she get cold? Cold? Why? Well, the skirt is so breezy. What if the doll gets sick? It would be really unpleasant. <laughs> a doll? Sick? You've got some imagination. Huh. However, I've got a solution. Doll suckings. Let's pull them onto doll's legs. Make her warm and pretty. Lace won't keep her warm, but fine. How do you know? Well, I worked as a tailor once. I know my way around fabrics. <laughs> totally believable. I'll prove it to you! <laughs> wow. Fine, fine. I believe that you've got a tailor talent. Hmm. How should I fix the top on the doll? Here, glue it on. I don't like working with the glue gun. Afraid you'll melt? <laughs> well, fine. I'll do it myself. You may go. <laughs> I love the glue. <laughs> Done. Time to dress the doll. I'm sure you like your outfit, Dolly. Don't you? So pretty. I'm sure Sue will like her. Haven't you forgotten something? All oh, right, shoes. We won't leave you barefoot. Let's see. Here are the pieces for making the shoes. The soles are made of crack foam. The top is from felt. And some cute decorations, of course. Let's get right to it. <laughs> I feel like a shoe elf. <laughs> and to finish the transformation, let's remove her nail polish. What unicorn without a horn? The flowers will decorate the hairband, but first we need to make the horn. Sam, do you want to become a unicorn? I'm not! They're so magical! Slime corn? <laughs> That's something! Slime corns are a new species! I'll go write about them in Wikipedia! Go on! And I'll continue gluing strips of craft form onto the paper horn. Let's see... Dolly corn! I think the herd pen is supposed to have ears too. I haven't forgotten about the ears! Sam, I'll burst from laughing! I need to visit the bathroom to prevent bursting! <laughs> a moment... I didn't do anything! Guys! If you want to see me in some funny outfit, write in the comments! And subscribe to the channel to actually see it! Phew! Catastrophe prevented! Right, give the horn here, Sam! I only need to assemble all the pieces of the headband, ears, and flowers! Let's try it on! Wonderful! And the last touch? Earrings! The doll is finished! Do you know what the best part of LOL surprises are? What? The surprise! That's why they're in sealed balls. Hmm, I won't make a ball, but a box is no problem. Come with me, advisor. Oh. We'll make a cardboard box. Guys, just look at this amazing thing we've created. Wow, right? I like it so much. Just look at all this confetti. That's where our surprises will be. And that's where we'll place our beautiful doll. Look at all these cool stickers! So we'll be so happy! This goes here. Oh, you came out so awesome! Now let's cover you! And we'll only need to place all the items inside. The skirt will be here. The hairband here. And the top goes here. We've only got to place the shoes here and the stockings here. They aren't in the baggies, but Sue will need to rotate the lid and get them out one by one. I can't wait to give it to her. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked how we transformed a Bratz doll into an LOL doll. Subscribe to the channel not to miss the unboxing of the doll. See you soon.